Uh, hello guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can set a static file um, in an URL with Spring. So why do you want to do this? So for example, you want to access your file very quickly. So instead of upload your file to an object storage uh, service like S3, you can just store your file locally to your to a Spring Boot application, and then, um, and then you can access the file right away. So, for example, in my use case, I have a video processing service, and after it uh, completes, uh, it complete, uh, it completes creating the video file, it puts somewhere locally, and then other service, other services, in the same kind of uh, cluster can instantly access the file to further process that file. So that is my use case. Why I need, uh, why I need such um, implementation, but mm, you need maybe different, but anyways, so for example, I have my file over here, image, uh, static image. so I have a, a doc.png file here, so I want to serve it in my controller. So go back to something like that because this server is not running, so it is quite very simple. You can, um, this is a new Spring project, so you can simply create a configuration here. So I comment this out, but just like this, you get, you will use the resource handler say that uh, if the request go to this then you serve the file from this and I also add a path for video uh, so let's uh, start the application and you see the, the app is up and running let me pull this up a little bit okay now if I accept this file, and sure enough you see the image here. Yeah. But there's one downside of this approach that you cannot have locking. So what if you want to lock when someone access a file? Or maybe you want to add some extra logic like authentication and other other concern like uh, you want to limit the number of download per user so in that case you might want to use something like a controller so let me stop the application here and uh, let's create a controller now i will comment this out because we don't need, need this and let's go to a controller so i have a static file controller here As see, I commented the configuration, so it is not um, registered in the next uh, application boot. So here I have a controller, and then the first thing is I need to specify the image location. So if I have a video location, I need also to have another path here, and this is a simple controller. Let's say go to images, file name, and then here I can add locking and some very basic um, respond logic here. So if I run the application now, let me clear the lock. If I uh, reload the page, and you can see that. I see the, I guess the lock message here. So if you want something quick and simple without writing controller, you can go with uh, this path, create a configuration and add a resource handler for multiple resources here. But if you want to have more control, then you may need to write a controller for it. So that's it.
That is uh, how you can serve static file. Hopefully the video is useful and I see you in the next video.